Hello ladies and gentlemen. I am making a video for you of how to do the last several problems on page 493, um, 25 through 33, where it gives you a graph, this one right here for example, and it tells you to write an, equal, an inequality whose graph is shown. So for starters you should know that all the other problems that you've done up until this one, you were working forwards. You were given a an inequality and you were you know, graphing it. You are creating the graph. Here we are given the graph and we need to work backwards in order to create the inequality whose graph is shown. So we start with the um, with a boundary line. So step one would be write the equation of the boundary line. Now luckily for us Boundary lines are lines, um, and the simplest form of writing the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. So if we can just figure out what the slope of this line is and what the y-intercept is, then we'll be good to go and we'll have the equation of the boundary line. So if we look carefully at the picture here, we notice that the y-intercept is down here, and the coordinates of that are very easy, that the value of b is 0 comma negative 2, right? Now we have to find the slope. Well, slope is also pretty easy. We're just going to count on the graph. We're going to find our change in y. We're going to go up 1, 2. So since we went up, we've got our change in y is up 2, or positive 2. And then our change in x is to the left 1, right? And so that is a negative 1. So that means that our slope is negative 2. So now we have both our y-intercept and our slope. So we can go ahead and write the equation of the boundary line. y is equal to negative 2x, that's our slope, minus 2 is our y-intercept. Good, that's our boundary line. Rock on. Except that's not what the question asked us to do. Our question asked us to write an inequality whose graph is shown. So we're going to have to do a little bit more work. So the second thing we need to do is, going back to number two, uh, determine, determine the inequality symbol. Okay. So for starters, I'm going to notice that over here, our boundary line is dotted. Dotted would imply that it's going to be either greater than or less than because if it were less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, it would be uh, a solid line. Okay, so now what? Well, what we want to do is that whole trick that we did with our test point, but we're going to work our test point backwards. So we're going to go, I'm going to copy over our inequality. I mean our equation, y is something in comparison to negative 2x minus 2, and that's what we want to know. Is it less than or is it greater than? Right? So we say, okay, we're going to look at our test point. Here's our test point. So let's use test point 0, 0. Right? We always said that the test point 0, 0 is our easiest point to test unless the boundary line passes through it. So we're going to test it. Now, if you look over here, there's nothing to test. We know that 0, 0 is not a solution. All the solutions are shaded in and they're on the left over there kind of below. This is clearly to the right and above and it's not in the shaded region, which means that when we, if we were to have tested it, we would have gotten a false statement, which means we want to create a false statement. How do we do that? Well, let's plug it in first. 0 instead of y is something in comparison to negative 2 times 0 minus 2, which means we're going to get 0 in comparison to negative 2, right? So 0 really is greater than negative 2. However, we want a false statement. So to create a false statement, we would have to use the symbol less than because zero is not actually less than negative two, creating a false statement, which is what we wanted, which means that y is less than negative two x minus two. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the answer to our question.